you might have wanted one together. I want one just of you. Can I take a shot of you? Oh, yeah, but you should have had that shot. Hmm? An old lady. No, no, you look you, you look fine. What's your name? Brenda. Brenda, can and I I'm take a photo of you? 90. Really? Yeah. You don't look I it. You might like a picture with her. Oh, Ray took one of her. I want one of you now. One of the two of you together. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a photographer. I take photos of strangers. That's my, that's what I do. All right. Yeah. You're off the road in case a car comes. Can I take a shot of you over here? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. The oldest lady in Singapore. Yeah? So you, you're local, you live here? Yes, I am. Okay, if you turn around, I'll take a shot like this. I've been here for 60 months, 60 years. Wow, fantastic. Brenda. Brenda, that's right, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Here, let me show you. Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you so much. It's crazy. So, you, yeah. and so, where did you come from before Mentone? Oh, I was born in Vietnam, but you're talking about if, where where I was born. Oh, right. I've been yeah. to Vietnam. Yeah, oh, yeah. I write books. Oh, really? You want a book? Oh. You actually have one ready in your bag? What do you have? Yeah. This one. I vote. Oh yes. Travels, Travels with, with grandma. grandma. When he was uh, started school, we could all read and write before we went to school. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll have to sit down on something. Yes, yes. I'll yes. fall down. Um, and when I I picked him up uh, for his mum and took him to school, I found out he couldn't read. Okay. And not only that, when I picked him up from school, he was dyslexic. Oh, okay. And the school couldn't teach him either. Okay. When I went and saw, saw he was sitting there, I said, what are they doing? They were all sitting around the table. He said, and the teacher said, oh, that's how they learn. They say to the child next to them, what's this word? Oh, yes. And I said, not if they don't know which way the book should be up. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the schools... And he was, yeah. he was dyslexic. Yep. So I took him to McDonald's before I was working at the courts and then. And I took him to McDonald's for breakfast. Oh, yes. And I started drawing pictures of animals doing opposite things. Oh, okay. Uh, you see, oh, and yes. I wrote a little poem, and we'd do them on the serviettes at, at oh, yes. McDonald's, and he'd help me draw them. Yep. He did that one and that one, and I did that, and I did a little poem. Mm -hmm. His shape is only good for eating from the top of trees, and if you stood next to him, you'd only reach his knee. Ah, uh, good. But Giraffe said I get tired, so when I take a hike, I get around like you do and hop on my little bike. <laughs> Very nice. So, and and so I did, uh, and I used to also take him for short trips. Oh yes. You know, on holidays and things. Mm -hmm. um, so when we had, oh, he he thought of that one, and I think he do. He liked the airplane. <laughs> That's fantastic. And uh, that's the boy there in front, is it? That's him there. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he, he uh, we started when he was five, mm -hmm. drawing these... Oh, he's pictures. your grandson. Yeah, he's oh, your yes. grandson. Travels with grandma. Oh, yes, yes. And when we put all the, um, the pictures... Mm -hmm. See, that's the gecko in Antarctica. Ah, yes. Um... <laughs> He said, oh, Grandma, we've got a book. <laughs> and I said, oh, you've got to do more than that. See, there's... Yeah, um, surface paradise. There was a camel called Merv. He was tired of his part of the earth, which is sand and sky, so he went to <laughs> Why? And now he's learning to surf. That's good. <laughs> and, and so um, he said, Grandma, we've got a book. And I said, oh, you've got to do a bit more than this for a book, darling. He said, you tell me on the phone yeah. about our trips. Yep. And I'll put uh, one of our pictures and our poems in yes. front of each chapter. That's lovely. And we did that, and I said, and you can add your bits mm -hmm. about our trips, and I'll add, 
all that our bit. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's Mermel and oh, yeah. St Kilda. But, um, so he did that, mm. and you know, Grandma gets it in the neck. Mm. Hey, Grandma, there's a possum in the bathroom. I called out excitedly. Grandma got it. Uh, <laughs> that's not a possum, that's a rat. <laughs> I knew when jumped up on the bed and I joined them. And then we took it to, when I got it printed, we took it to to the town hall. Oh, yes. Uh, they printed it properly and they, um, so we had the book. And then he got chosen to run with the Olympic torch. Oh, wow. Oh, was, fantastic. He was 12 by the time we got it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's a while back now, is it? 2000, right? Yeah, well, he's yeah. in his 30s now. Yes. Yeah. So, um, there he is. He was the youngest runner at 12 mm. with the Olympic. Wow, that's amazing. Can I take a photo of you holding the book? Yeah, oh, yeah? and you can have the book. Oh, thank you. You sure? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, very nice of you. Um, okay. okay, Brenda, just turn this way, just like that. Yeah, and just hold the book in front of you so we can see the title. Right. There you go. Yeah. Thank you so much, Brenda. So, and that has our trips. Fantastic. I'll, I'll put it in here. Right now, he's got a degree. Oh yes. Did the um, he, he just had to rewire his brain and figure out things, didn't he? Had, had yeah. To, um, yeah. Well, see, I just yep. had to. Uh, he knew that the animal animals doing opposite things. Mm. I mean, when you look at somebody, you look at an animal you think what it does. Ah yes, yes. And ours do the opposite. Ah yes. Uh, well if you look at someone who's dyslexic, mm. you can think they're stupid. Oh, oh they yeah. can be the opposite. Ah yes. They yes. can be very bright. Indeed. So he's got a degree, he's got Fantastic. He's now in his thirties. Oh thank you so much. So it's good to see you. My lucky day. My lucky day. Thank you. You enjoy the rest of your day, okay? I will. Thank you. Okay. All right.